today the plan is to attempt attempt to fix the Hellcat Swap Miata. I don't know exactly how it's gonna go as I've never actually done anything like this before. So the game plan is we just got some blending that we gotta do in the rear quarters and I'll walk you through the process. And now you're watching the Swedish Fish Candy have nothing to do with the Sweden country channel of YouTube. Welcome to Bodie Vision. Hey, so what is up and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on yet another video. So like I said, what we have going on today, we got the Hellcat Miata sitting here. And I got a little bit ahead of the game, just got some of the boring stuff knocked out. So as you can see right here, that side wasn't so bad. This side was a little bit worse. If you remember right down in that area, the paint was all gone. And there the paint was all gone, all chipped up and messed up. There's a pretty big dent right there. So what you're looking at right here, all the old clear and everything was sanded down with a 600. And then over here in this area, anything that I was going to be priming, I went ahead and I did that with a 320 so that way the primer can land on something to have a little bit more grip. And then after that primer dried, I sanded that all again with a 600. So what you're looking at right now, the entire finish has a 600 grit sandpaper finish on it. And when you're doing that 600, make sure you don't burn through any of these edges because if it does, you're gonna have to do more base coat over there. So now at this point, right now, the plan is we don't wanna get any other paint on the rest of the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it masked off and then we'll get into actually what I'm gonna do with products. off and I don't know if you remember or are familiar with the process that we did on painting this entire car. This is House of Color Tangelo Orange and you use a white base underneath the orange. So that's a little weird but what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to do the white base in all these areas and then the idea is I'm going to come back with the orange and go a little further than where I went with the white and then clear coat everything. Now there's a couple different products that I can use or a couple different techniques. I'm thinking I might sand down all of the white before I do the orange and then there's like a little edge killer thing. I'll show you that in the can if I decide to use it or I'm just going to sand it down. But either way, no matter what I do, the next step is I got to go ahead and get that white base mixed up. So it's actually the following day now. One thing that's a little bit weird about this job is this job is so secluded to this area. Normally as I'm working on a car, when I gotta wait for this area to be done, I can continue on with another area. When I'm done with that other area, this area is dry, but in reality, when this dries, or when this is drying, I just gotta sit there and wait for the paint to dry. So it's kind of a little bit slow. So it's actually the next day now because you know, I was sitting here, I didn't want to sit here for two hours. I actually went home. Every single thing that you guys ordered is completely shipped out. And shout out to you guys for ordering that much stuff, man. I was completely blown away. So back to the project, back to what we're doing. I don't know if you can gather it by those couple of clips. What I actually did is I sprayed all the white. And then if you saw me come back with that aerosol can, this is exactly how it came out. Now let me grab a rag over here so you can tell. Now normally, so this laid out nice and smooth, and then normally, you can tell how that's a little rougher right there, because there's a bunch of overspray on it, but that melt away, this is what I used right here. This is just melt away by Transtar Edge Blend. So that can right there. So what I actually did is after I did that sealer, I just came back right away while it was still wet and I hit that edge just a little bit with that melt away and that allows it to really blend nice and smooth and that stuff works really well. I don't really have much experience using it, but again, it worked really nicely. So now what I wanna do, because you can hear, hear how smooth that is and then how up here, there's some overspray that landed up there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take a 800 
or maybe you're a 600. I'm gonna go ahead with a 600, go over the entire panel one more time, and then I'm gonna get into the base coat and not touch the base coat at all. That'll land nice and smooth. Sealers and primers are a little bit thicker. The base coat is real thin. So I'm gonna get it sanded, base coat, clear coat, and we'll So here we go after base coat, but before clear coat. So I don't know if you can gather. Well, of course you can gather. I showed you maybe about three layers of base coat, but I actually did about five and a half with that orientation coat at the very end to just make sure all those metallics lay out really nicely. And it looks pretty good. It took a little while to bury it. As you can tell in those first couple of coats, the coverage wasn't that good. And this orange, tangelo orange from House of Color is extremely transparent. And that's why we need that white underneath it to really bring out the orange metallics. And it looks really good. So also, I don't know if you can see, but I didn't want to bring my base coat all the way to the edge. I stopped somewhere in this area because there was a dent right about there. So I stopped over there. I didn't bring it to that edge and I didn't bring it up to this edge because the trunk, rear quarter, the entire door, all of the fenders, that was all painted at the same time. So I know this from there to there, the color match is perfect. Now, if I would have painted the entire rear quarter and then it didn't look good up against the door, you would have been able to see that really well. But if the color's off a little bit from there, and then it can start to fade into the door. That's how you know it's gonna be a good repair because colors don't look identical every single time you do them. It has to do with the temperature and the amount of coats and the amount of coverage, but that's why this is a blend job to make it seem like a repair was never ever made. So you can see right now, there's a little bit of a difference of how the base coat reflects light and then how the old clear coat reflects light, but by the time clear coat is over all of that, all of that is gonna go away. Hopefully, hopefully all of that is gonna go away. This is really my first time ever doing a blend job. All right, all right, all right. So clear is done and well, I'll just take a look at it. For me, that is definitely looking really solid. I mean, I didn't really know how this was gonna turn out going into it, but my thinking was, if it wouldn't have got messed up, it would have been fine anyway, so that's not on me. And also, I'm trying my best to fix it, and that's really all I can do, is compare myself to what I've done before, and I've actually never done this before, so this looks really good. You can see the little area right there. It's, it's all gone, all good, everything is blended out, and again, the color that's right next to the door right there, that's old color, that's old color right there, and then here is new. So that's looking really good. One thing about this orange is, 
I actually had to use a lot more paint than I was originally thinking. I bought an additional quart because you buy these by the quart, four quarts and a gallon. That's how House of Color works. So I thought I was going to be able to do the bumper yet with this remaining quart, but I'm actually going to have to buy an additional one because I only have about one quarter of that can left. So that's a little, little unexpected, but that's just how it goes with the House of Color. One, it's really good stuff, but also it's pretty expensive. And two, it doesn't really go that far. The coverage is not very good. As you saw in those initial clips when the orange was really light in those areas, I just have to keep going over it and going over it and going over it again until it's completely gone, completely good. And this looks solid. So I guess since it's been a little while, dust isn't gonna land in there and affect that clear. That's completely hardened up. Well, not completely, but enough where dust isn't going to affect it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull all the masking stuff off. We'll look at it one more time to see how it matches and then we'll be wrapping this thing up. video is over I actually wanted to pull the car out in the sun so that way you can get another good look at it and you can see how this blend played out and how the doors still match how the rear quarter looks completely fine all new paint in here this area but not up here so it still looks really good the body is still just as straight as it was it looks really good honestly if it would have came out 90% as good, I would have been happy with that. Because again, I've never done anything like this before. And really, car and the guys that built this car and everything, everybody involved with this car, they just dropped it off for me to kind of take my shot at it. So I appreciate them bringing it to me to kind of challenge myself. And it came out really good. I'm really glad. And from now on, I can do jobs like this if they come up. Where before, I would not know how. It's actually starting to rain. Let me get the car pushed back in. Hold on. Oh man, so like I was saying, I do not want any kind of water droplets getting on this clear. That's just a couple hours old. It's hard, dust lands in it, but not water. So now, I don't know if you actually saw the initial video where myself and Brian from down south, Acura Painter, where we painted this car. He actually helped me out tremendously throughout this entire process. And he has a not a new YouTube channel, but he changed his YouTube channel name to Paint Society. I'm gonna put that down in the description below. Actually, his most recent video, he goes into the technical aspect of a blend, how exactly to do it. And he also blends clear coat, which blew my mind. I did not know that you could do that. So go check out his page, show him some love because honestly he helped me out so much to make sure that this process was going to turn out on the phone with me explaining what to do. And I am by no means a professional and he's actually self-taught as well, but now working for Acura Pembroke Pine. So that's really cool and really nice to kind of have somebody on the inside. So Brian, I appreciate you for that. Thank you so much. You guys again, go show him some love. So coming up, we got the back bumper right here looking looking like a complete travesty so i don't know what i'm going to do with that that's not going to be in this video i'm going to go ahead and close out this video so that way i can get this up for you guys and i'll just have to see you on the next one so thank you guys so much for watching like this video comment subscribe do all this stuff you know what it is youtube full restock of all the stickers down below in the description do all this stuff youtube i'll see you on the next one i'm out